we've got a problem. And that problem is coyotes. I came into this one spot here about two weeks ago to set up some mock scrapes. And I had a pack of coyotes surround me. I don't know if they have a den nearby or what the deal is because as I was putting those mock scrapes in and working on a video had two coyotes come down first and then the other two come down and they just did a big circle around me about 50 or 60 yards I don't know if they thought I was going to be a nice tasty meal or what the deal was uh, I didn't have any protection with me so I was a little more alert than usual finished what I was doing and uh, those coyotes hung out for a couple of minutes and then they took off and I was at work today and I started thinking you know I came into this public land spot last year the first day of bow season and I had a pack of coyotes come down it was about 4 30 in the morning they were only 50 to 75 yards above me when I was trying to climb a tree and they were yipping and yelling and carrying on. And I thought, you know what, two weeks ago I put a camera in because I need to get some intel and see what's going on. Like I said, I don't know if those coyotes have a den nearby. Last year on the first day of bow season, my buddy and I got down here about 4.30 in the morning in this particular spot. And we located our trees, started climbing. Those coyotes were up above me. Like I said, they're up there yipping, carrying on. So I thought, you know what? I better hurry up, get up my tree, because the coyotes are probably pushing deer all over the place. You know, that night it was a full moon or not that night, the night before the first day of bow season here in PA, it was a full moon. So I'd imagine those coyotes were out all night long, pushing deer around, just carrying on. Last year in this one specific area, 600 yards by 600 yards, within a three week period, I think I had 11 bucks come through. Three of them were shooters. And I was hoping that that spot was gonna kind of be the same way this year. And I usually started seeing those bucks in the middle of August, late August. But a lot of it was nighttime. You know, three, four o'clock in the morning and then nine, 10 o'clock at night. The end of August, early October. But the second week of October, it all lit up. Those bucks started coming in at, you know, six, seven o'clock in the morning, and I was starting to see a lot of buck movement. So I've got some really good pinch points here because these fingers, there's these patches of pines and some dogwoods like this, it's real thick. And then you have the freshwater spring, and then there's another finger that runs real thick. And when these bucks are traveling back and forth from that clear cut, from food and over into this transition and walk in the edge of all this and they'll use any one of the three fingers last year the sign in here was crazy buck rugs and scrapes and just it was hammered in here i'm actually hoping that if these coyotes are in here and i'm talking the way i am like i was two weeks ago they must have heard me or smelled me they came running down. I'm kind of hoping the same thing happens here today. Because today, I got my gun with me. So this is either going to be a good spot again, like it was last year. Or it's just going to get blowed out because I'm going to take out some coyotes. So, whichever comes first, we'll see. Yeah, see right here's one of the freshwater springs. And there's a finger. And I'm on another finger right here, heading east. 
and I have some mock scrapes set up over that direction. I've also got a trail camera on this finger. I originally was going to set here in this tree, put my tree stand in here because we got a trail on this finger, a trail coming across from the west to the east right here and another section where all these trails meet right here. I'm just a little worried. I mean, with a dominant west wind, if I'm up in this tree, my wind's pretty much going to blow over into these pines. I mean, I might be all right here. But it gets pretty thick through here. I'd be limited in my shots here, but I'm still thinking about it. I might give that a shot. It's all tore up in here already. I hate to be in here rooching around so much right now. We're getting so close to bow season, but. Gotta get in here and see what's going on. Yeah, I can feel it right now. I'm facing east, and that wind's blowing right in my face. It's perfect. Every time I've been into this spot, it's always a west wind. I know all. I know all three of these pinch points and fingers real well. I know which way the deer are moving through here. As long as we have that west wind, I figured out how to set up in here. As long as these coyotes aren't a problem. I don't know. I never hunted for coyotes. I don't know a whole lot about coyotes. I know they're a pain in my ass. And they're a nuisance. Other than getting in here and hunting them and blowing this spot out, you know, I'm not quite sure what to do. No, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. What would you do in this situation right now? Other than throwing a couple cameras in here or coming in here and doing a couple of sits before bow season, which I really hate to do. You know, at least I'll know. At least I'll get my intel and really know what's going on in here decide whether I have to move to a different spot. I mean, I've got plenty of other public land hunting spots, but I know there's some nice bucks in here and I just really wanted to get back in here. All the bucks that I saw come through here came from the west, right across here actually, where I just walked through and then walked straight out. I noticed that, and it was all bucks that were going west to east. And the does were coming from the north side up this little hollow right here. You can see a heavy trail right here. They have it packed down pretty good. And they're coming up through this hollow and right out through here. Now you can see. Look how heavy this trail is right here. So, we've got this trail coming up from the north this direction, and then this trail coming from west to east, east west, and right there I have a trail camera. So I gotta look at this and see what we got on there. So I don't know, maybe I'm overthinking this situation a little bit. Maybe I'm not. But uh, I don't know if you can see that. But the glare kinda sucks, but this camera number one we've got deer on it so the coyotes mustn't be doing too much damage yet so I'm heading to my second camera where I have the mock scrapes we're gonna go see if those mock scrapes were hit check the camera real quick and now I'm gonna skedaddle out of here and go sit a little bit see if I can spot some coyotes come through uh, you can see here it's hammered with deer trails Super heavy trails. All the way up through this finger. I'm soon gonna start laying down rubs if they didn't already. I'll show 
show you guys this real quick. Here's one of the main trails that I was keeping my eye on last year. Some nice rubs like this. A couple rubs here as well. A bunch of rubs down there. And they were just hammering this. Actually, I'll tell you what happened. A lot of the bucks were coming across this ridge right here and coming down this trail. Okay, straight this direction. As this buck was walking down through here last year, it was a nice eight point. He made it to here, he started slowing down. And I was sitting in that tree right back there, the three little trees. All I needed him to do was take two or three more steps and I'd had a 20 yard shot right there. But he stopped right about here. And it was just short of where I was gonna get a shot. And I don't know if he could sense something was wrong. But he was in between these two trees right here, going like this, just bobbing his head back and forth, walking straight at me. He made it right to about here. And right in back there, about 10, 12 yards is the tree I was sitting in. And he was right here going like this, looking right at me. And there was nothing I could do. Now he didn't blow or anything, but he just turned around and trotted right back up that trail. So this year I'm kind of going to set it up the same. Because we've got all these little patches right here and then these open trails. I just... Uh, changed where I'm putting the mock scrapes this year even though they were hitting the other scrapes I just added a couple of more in different locations see if I can get them to hit it so here they are I don't know rub back there over there's my camera and right here's the mock scrapes I put in Oh, well, they're not using that mock scrape yet. I don't have any pictures on that second camera. So I'm gonna leave that camera up a little bit longer. We still got a little over a month till bow season. I'm gonna make my way to the west, southwest about 200 yards. Sit for a little while, see if anything comes through here. Maybe a couple coyotes. Not 100% sure in this spot at this point. Let me know what you guys think about this spot and the situation with these coyotes. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here.